Jack's in the house. The following contest is a last man standing match. Making his way to the ring from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Weighing in at 193 pounds, Drew Gulak. He's held the Cruiserweight Championship, a multi-time 24-7 champion. Gulak craves the 24-7 title because he's always ready to fight at any time. A true Broad Street bully. people provided the light now he sows seeds of discontent in the locker room and his opponent from chicago illinois weighing in at 182 pounds mustafa ali this is a man who was once the infamous smackdown hacker who took pleasure in revealing superstars hidden secrets psychopath he also caused physical chaos with retribution, attacking superstars. Remember, Corey, the night they, they destroyed and then chased us out of the performance center? Yeah, I'd rather not relive that horror, Cole. But the fact is, Mustafa Ali is still on a mission to tear down WWE to its very foundation. A win here tonight goes towards proving that mission statement. psychological component to this type of matchup. Corey, how can you get into an opponent's head? At this point, your opponent's had enough of your mind games. No simple pinfall would be satisfactory. There are no rules, no barriers, and no mercy. The question is, who can jump out in front for an early advantage? You have to do whatever it takes to keep your opponent down for the count. And they have to know there's no limit to what you're willing to do. And remember, as Corey said, no pinfalls here. Only one can stand victorious. Ali's in the drop zone. Oh, Unbelievable athleticism. Oh, that might have just broken something. Oh, right to the back. And Drew Gulak isn't being given any room to recover. And no doubt this is a tough spot for Drew Gulak. Yeah. Saw it was coming from Ali. And that might be the start of the momentum swing Gulak needed. Yeah, Gulak able to stop that surge dead in its tracks. This won't win the match, but it's one way to inflict a great deal of punishment. Well, the torque on the knee. Rolling through now. Couple of kicks will break it. Looking wobbly in the corner. Uh-oh. Face full of turnbuckle. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Was just malicious, insulting. Look at this going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. And Gulak is leaving no breathing room here. Gulak with a systematic attack. Face first in the turnbuckle. Mustafa Ali with the counter. He's going for it all. Oh, look out. Oh, dive. Took a gamble once, took a gamble again, and hit the jackpot 
twice. He's reminding his competition that they'll only ever be second best. He has a task at hand, but prefers to be showboating right now. Kick to the gut. Cranked around into a neck breaker. This crowd is truly unworthy of his incredible magnificence. He's doing a whole lot of gesturing, and it could cost him. Okay, already we get it. Stop looking for adulation for the crowd to get back into the fight. And the momentum is clearly against Gulak now. Gulak has to start trusting his instincts Two. at this point. Three. Take a good look at a real life Titan, folks. This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing yes. your opponent instead of attacking him. Taking this kind of damage is unsustainable. Getting up from the count of 10 is going to be impossible at this rate. Ali keeping steady in this match. It's just one attack after another from Ali. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Beats the 10 count. Going to push on through the match. Oh. truly appreciate and embrace his presence. Four. Five. Okay, already we get it. Stop looking for adulation for the crowd and get back into the fight. Face crusher! And the momentum's clearly against Gulak now. Gulak has to start trusting his instincts at this point. What are we gonna see here? Close now. Three. Four. Five. Six. And now he's giving you Seven. all another chance to simply take it all in. Eight. Nine. Ten. And that will do it. Not getting up from that one, so it's called. Ali! You cannot say they didn't give it their all and then some to achieve this victory. The reward definitely seems greater than the risk right about now, but we'll see how they feel once they get back to the locker room and hit the showers.